Hey guys, Mr. Fox here. Today we're going to take a look at how to remove all the garbage from Windows 10 that you hate. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pop on over to MDL forums. The links are found in the description of this video. Um, you'll find the toolkit to download at this URL. So basically I made this video because the instructions are a little bit outdated. Some people might find it easier to follow a video than to read the instructions. So anyway, once you've downloaded the toolkit, extract it into a folder where you want to work with it and place your Windows ISO in there. Use sub and zip and extract the contents of the ISO. Then you're going to want to drag the contents that you extracted or copy them and paste them into the ISO folder. I'm sorry, the DVD folder. And then you'll be ready to begin. So once you've moved the contents to the uh, DVD folder, go ahead right click on the toolkit icon and launch it as administrator. So the first thing you're going to do once this comes up is you're going to select the source. So we're going to select the source from the DVD folder that we just created. And you'll see the windows listed there, just select number one. If there's more than one version of Windows, you can select the version you want. So that's going to load the content that we extracted into the DVD folder as the source for our mod. It'll take a few minutes to do that. So once those contents have have been loaded up for modding. It's going to come up with a menu that you'll see here in a moment. Pressing the key to continue. So what we're going to want to do now that we have the source selected is go to number four which is remove. And we're going to remove the Metro apps, the associations, and the Windows components. So you can see all the apps that are listed here that we're going to get rid of, all the garbage that you don't like about Windows 10. So select um, all Metro apps and this will go through a series of removals. It's going to take a few minutes to do that. So bear with me. A moment of silence while that gets the job done. you can see on the screen the items that are being removed. I don't know about you, but one of the things that I really hate about Windows 10 is all the bloatware garbage, just the worthless unified Windows apps, Cortana, the digital slot, just all the trash that contributes to Windows 10 being a sucky operating system. So we are effectively removing all that garbage. And what's going to be left when we're done it's just a pure and undefiled version of Windows 10 with none of the crap. So now that that's done, we're going to select number two and remove default apps associations. So again, this will go through the process. You'll see on your screen, finish fairly quickly. We're going to select remove once more and then remove Windows components. So you're going to want to choose all Windows components and that's going to get rid of all the garbage that you see in the list right above it. So telemetry, biometrics, 
Cortana, all the stuff that I think sucks about Windows 10 is going to be gone forever. When we do a clean install, that will not even be available. It won't be installed, it'll never be installed. So that's pretty awesome, right? If you wanted to keep something, you could one by one go through and select the crap that you want to keep. But I'm just gutting it, taking everything out because I don't want any of that filth. Don't have any use for it. I still love Windows 7 and think it's better than Windows 10, but if we got to use this crap, it's going to be on my terms, right? So this will take a few minutes to get through removing all the garbage. And again, you can watch on your screen, see what filth is getting scrubbed out. You may notice, based upon what version of Windows you're modding, you may notice that a message that the item wasn't found or was already removed. You don't have to worry about that. Here I'm modding Windows Enterprise. Um, this will work with Pro or Home as well. But different versions of Windows may or may not have all the components that the tool looks to remove. So don't be alarmed if you see that. All in all, this process uh, takes maybe 10-15 uh, minutes. Might take you a little bit longer as you fumble around navigating menus you're not familiar with, but it doesn't take long at all. You know, it's kind of boring watching this on the video, but bear with me. I think you'll find this process is totally worth it once it's completed. By the way, just for the sake of uh, not listening to dead silence, you might notice that I'm doing this on my Alien Killer 2. That's a Clevo uh, P870 DM3. It's got a Prima Mod BIOS on it, which is totally awesome. It's rocking a 7700K KB Lake CPU. Um, it's, right now it's clocked at 4.7 gigahertz, and uh, I'm rendering the video at 4.7 gigahertz as well. Temps are nice, only about 70, 72 degrees max while rendering this video, so that's pretty amazing. Also, it's uh, sporting GTX 1080 SLI, so it's quite the beast. It has two 330 watt AC adapters um, that power it, so a total of 660 watts. And um, this, on um, a couple more days, I'll be receiving a new. Uh, 780 watt AC adapter from Eurocom for testing so uh, watch for a video on that that's going to be pretty sweet um, I'll have one massive AC adapter to power it instead of two and it's actually not massive except in capacity um, this one AC adapter is really not much bigger than just one of the 330 watts so uh, excited about that pretty sweet so anyway, this should be just about finished up here. Appreciate you bearing with me. By the way, the Windows 10 environment that you're looking at, my desktop, is the modded version. So anyway, you can see there's Cortana getting the digital slut getting exercised. Exorcised as in a demon. <laughs> so get rid of that tramp for good.
when you do this, it's going to make you feel good to see all that stuff getting deleted. It's just like, wow, that's phenomenal. Getting rid of all the garbage. So right now it's getting rid of that uh, embedded fingerprint stuff. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. No more bloatware. Again, if you need to use biometrics for your fingerprint reader or you like facial recognition, instead of choosing the option to remove everything, you can you can leave those. It's tedious. I don't have any use for those, so I just gut it and get rid of everything. But you could go through one by one and remove only the apps and the components that you don't want. And leave leave whatever filth you enjoy using. You can leave in there if you want. I think it's just about done right now. It should be on the tail end of it. We're about nine or ten minutes into this, so it should be about the amount of time it takes. There we go. Press any key to continue. So go ahead and do that. Now what we want to do is we want to apply it to the uh, ISO files that we modded. So apply changes to the WIM files. So that'll take a few minutes. It'll inject all the changes and then, and then unmount the WIM images. It goes by pretty quickly. So once that's done, just about done here. So the final step in the process is we're going to create an ISO that you can use Rufus or whatever tool you like using to burn a USB stick to install this nicely cleaned up um, version of Windows 10. So there we go, press any key to continue. Now we're going to want to choose target this time. So select target, and we're going to make a, the first one, make an ISO DVD image. Here you're gonna to wanna to choose a name for the um, image. And then you'll again choose a name for the ISO that's created. And here I'm calling it W10E X64 with the version in January 2017. You hit enter. And then I'm going to choose the same name for the ISO that I create. There you go. It's going to create that ISO. It goes really quick. Press any key to continue, we're finished. And we are done. Now if we look in the ISO folder, there's the one we just made. Ready to burn and ready to install. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for watching this short video. I hope you find it useful. And I hope you enjoy Windows 10 without all the crap. Thanks, Mr. Fox out.